Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. We just spent two amazing days in Salamanca and now we're gonna catch a taxi, we're gonna grab a bus and we're gonna head over to Leon, which I've never been to, so I'm really excited for that. So let's get the day started. We're so lucky that we speak a little bit of Spanish because otherwise it would have been so confusing. <laughs> First of all, for us to get to the next town, Leon, we have a stopover in a town called Zamora. But I will say, the bus ticket from here to there was only five euros. It's so, so cheap to travel throughout Europe. I love it. We have 10 minutes to get to our bus. <laughs> We're stuck here. Hola. Adrenaline's pumping. <laughs> we literally made it on the bus with four minutes to spare. We have about an hour drive to Zamora. From there we get a transfer to Leon. And off to exploring a brand new city in Spain. Can't wait. We are finally in Leon. And instead of taking a cab, we were just having this conversation on how throughout the years of traveling, I've become more and more frugal. I hate spending money on stupid things, such as check bags, seat selections on flights, taxis when it's a 10 to 20 minute walk. Um, but I wanna hear what you guys think. Comment down below. Do you like to be in comfort when you're traveling or? You like to save money and get more value out of your trip. I'm really anxious to find out. I literally was just gonna say that. <laughs> I swear I was just about to say that. This is our first time here in Leon. And guys, I have no idea what we're gonna do in the city. We did very little research. And when I say very little, I mean we only know where we're gonna stay. We don't know anything about the history of Leon, what there is to do. Oh, look at these guys. That's cool. I don't think we'll be doing that. Over a cliff, looks like. <laughs> but I'm actually really excited that we don't know anything about Leon because then it gives us a chance to have a raw experience instead of something that's very regimented. Planned out on planned. Our Google pin map. Yeah. Sometimes. One of the greatest lessons of traveling is getting off. lost. Can we and just look at the architecture of this lion right here? They didn't miss any details. Okay. It has balls. You see them? I mean, I'm glad they put balls in there. Did Leon. You see that? <laughs> By the way, Leon, if you don't know, in Spanish means lion. So, anyways, we're gonna be here for about four nights. So I am so excited to explore. I know that there's lots to do. Spain, you know, historically is a very interesting country. So I can't wait to dive more into Leon. But as of right now, it's been a long travel day. We're gonna go check into our hostel and try and find something to eat. I'm starving. just checked into our hostel and it's so quiet I don't know that anyone is actually here um, but the rooms are decent size we're just kind of checking it out pretty nice shower toilet sink this is our room it's really tight just two bunks so our lady for check-in is not here yet. When I tell you siesta is a real thing in Spain. So she basically just gave us the code and said, come on in. So we're in here by ourselves. We're just waiting for her to get here and just kind of walking around the hostel, checking it out for ourselves, giving ourselves a self tour. Old school laundry right there. Oh my God, it looks like a little house. People can write 
little love letters of their time here on their own. And that is nice. Hello. We'll have to do that. So far, I'm really loving this hostel. It's so cozy and our street is nice and quiet. We're only about a 10 minute walk from the center of the home and the plaza. Um, we haven't explored yet, but I'm sure we will get to that. I like it, it's so nice. And I love hostels because I like meeting other travelers. The kitchen, not bad, very basic, but cozy. I think we'll be very cozy here. I keep saying cozy, because it is cozy. The next day. Good morning, guys, and welcome to day two. Uh, we're kind of running late, it's almost one o'clock. So these two <laughs> took the most serious siesta <laughs> of my life. Both of them were like canary birds <laughs> singing to each other in their sleep. And siesta is a real thing, so it's good to come back, take a nap, relax, and then continue on with um, your day, which is what we're doing. It's raining, which is pretty crappy, but we're going to meet up with a group for a free guided tour around the city which helps us a lot because we didn't do very much research for this trip and we don't have much clue of what to look for, what to expect. So I'm actually really looking forward to this. So if you ever visit Leon, be sure to visit the tourism office to find out about the free walking tours. Just a quick correction. The tour is a free tour, but you're welcome at the end of the tour to make a donation to your liking. So. These people are out here. They're walking us around the city for an hour and a half. Be kind, give them a good tip, you know? One thing to note, this tour is in Spanish. <laughs> yes, I was thinking the same thing. So if you come to Leon, <laughs> speak you, better, <laughs> you better practice your Espanol, honey. And you want a free tour. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We just finished visiting the Plaza Mayor, which is basically the center of each town. But here in Leon, it's not actually utilized like it is in some of the other villages, like in Salamanca, for example, where we just visited. Its tradition actually began as a fruit and vegetable market that has been going on for a thousand years. It's actually taking place tomorrow, which I think is really interesting. I think we should visit. Yeah. When I tell you guys that siesta is a real thing, it really is. As you can see in that barrio, there was literally no uh, restaurants open, so make sure you eat before siesta. So really interesting, what I'm noticing about all the different types of plazas that we're visiting is that they're all centered around you know, economic activity, meaning the selling and exchanging of goods and services. One plaza in particular, and I guess there are four to choose from, actually held public executions. It's just so odd to think that those things actually happened back in the day. Good thing it doesn't happen now. See, for real. So fascinating. This home belonged to one of the more powerful families here in Leon. But fun fact, they never even lived in this home. They spent most of their time in Madrid close to the king. So the house kind of went to crap after that. And the uh, city purchased it and restored it. Now it sees as a museum. So a really cool and interesting fact about Leon as you're walking through the city, you'll see that a lot of the balconies have these very beautiful pots of flowers. If you would like a little bit of floral decorations on your balconies, the city will actually place it there for you and maintain them as well. They'll come and they'll water them. So it's really, really nice. And I was really curious as to why all the balconies have these floral decorations on their balcony, but it's because the city provides it. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope that it inspired you just a little bit to come a little bit further north 
of Madrid and visit this beautiful town of Leon. I will catch you guys in the next video. Have a great evening. Ta -ta.